the holidays here. You guys asked about all different side dishes for your holiday at home. And you asked if turkey was a possibility on the Blackstone. So I decided to try one of my favorites, turkey legs in the Blackstone air fryer. And they are amazing. I'm going to show you guys how to make these juicy, moist, and crispy skinned turkey legs in the Blackstone air fryer at home. Before we jump into it, be sure to go to that Blackstone Products YouTube channel and don't forget to check out the Blackstone Teespring store while you're at it and get yourself a hoodie to keep you warm this winter. Now, into these turkey legs. They are so dang good, you guys are gonna love them. I love turkey legs. I love the juicy dark meat. I love crispy skin on it and it really did come out perfectly in the air fryer. So we start these off with turkey legs and I picked up some turkey wings to try out too. The first thing I want to do is make sure that this meat is padded dry very well with some paper towels. Next we're going to use some extra light tasting olive oil. This is perfect for baking and frying. I know I say it all the time but it is my favorite oil. We're going to drizzle this over the top of this meat and then rub it in with our hands to coat each turkey leg and each turkey wing completely. Now my seasoning of choice, we're gonna season every inch of this meat with the new Blackstone Essential Blend. This blend is so garlicky good. I love my garlic, so this is probably one of my new favorite almost can use it for anything seasonings. Now that everything is seasoned, I'm gonna cover this and let it sit on my kitchen counter at room temperature for about 30 minutes. This way I'm not sticking ice cold out of the refrigerator meat, which is kind of large. These legs are nice and hefty into the air fryer drawers. This way they'll start to cook through instead of on the outside first and leaving the inside uncooked before our outside, you know what I mean. After my 30 to 60 minutes, it's okay to leave them a little bit longer if you have some errands or if you're a busy mom like me. It's been about closer to 60 here, so I'm gonna turn on my Blackstone air fryer to high. I'm gonna start these at high, that way they get nice and crispy on the outside, and then every eight to 10 minutes, I'll check the air fryer drawers, move them around, flip them around, until the whole outside is nice and golden brown and getting nice and crispy. We can bump our heat down to medium, and let them continue to cook through. If you feel the need to use a meat thermometer, go right ahead. <gasps> Do you want turkey? You want turkey? After three to four times of checking these, I did switch a leg for a wing in each drawer just to give each a little bit more room. After 35 to 40 minutes, these were done, which would give you just enough time to cook up some vegetables up on the top griddle surface to serve along these turkey legs. They are so juicy and so delicious. The skin is perfectly crispy. You can season them up any way you like, but I highly suggest trying the new essential blend. The garlic in there is is just to die for. So I hope you guys try this and I hope it answered the question, can you cook turkey on your Blackstone? For those big turkeys, save them for your oven or your smoker. But I do hope that you try these turkey legs because they are one of our family's favorites and they're so inexpensive. $3 for two huge turkey legs, $6 to feed my family of four. I am happy as can be. If you try and be sure to post a picture and tag Blackstone Betty and post it to social media, don't forget to check out our Teespring store and be sure that you're subscribed to the Blackstone YouTube channel. Leave us a comment down below. Whether it's nice or mean, naughty or nice, just leave us something to read. I can't wait to see who out there in the Griddle Nation tries these turkey legs and enjoys them. Until next time, I'm Blackstone Betty and I will see you guys in the next video.